on guys, welcome back to Car and Car Interviews. I'm your host, flying solo today, Liam Marcelino. With Mike's 2004 Nissan 350Z. Mike, if you want to come on in and introduce yourself. How's it going, guys? What's going on, man? How you doing? Not too bad, how you doing? Doing all right, man. It's good to have you out here. So, going back, you know, we talked a little bit right before the show and everything. We were just kind of catching up on everything and, you know, talking about all the goodies on the car and whatnot. So, you've had this car for 11 years, just about? Yep. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a long time, obviously. And you bought it stock, right? Just yeah, bone stock. Yeah, second owner. That's cool, man. That's crazy. I mean, it's definitely a good-looking car, and it's, you know, definitely got some time and some money into it, as you can't tell already. But, you know, we may as well just jump right into it and start talking about from the front to the back and whatnot. So the one thing I wanted to talk about is this color. This is this is painted, correct? Correct. And did you do the paint yourself, or did I you did have, not. You did not, okay. Done by a World of Color in Glen Grace. Oh, okay. And they just took care of everything. And yep. the carbon was yeah. all the carbon parts that are red were originally black. Correct. And then they just sprayed over the car. Right. My, uh, That's cool. One of my first priorities was to have a, something other than regular carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. So I wanted them to tint it red. Okay. And then when they brought me back for the rest of the car, I was originally going to make it the same red line red. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's not going to look good with the carbon. So get it as close as you can to the carbon. And this mm -hmm. is what they came up with. This is basically an adjusted house of color brand new wine okay so it's a, it's that's a cool bit altered to match the carbon better but yeah it's a good looking color man i, I definitely I, that's one of the things that stood out to me right away was this this red because i know that they didn't this wasn't a nissan color at the time and i mean it definitely looks good on this chassis and everything so with the wide body kit who makes who makes these over fenders uh, the over fenders are made by fiberglass mafia okay version two fenders okay that's cool. Yeah, I mean, what's what's the size on it? Like from original uh, I think the back original width. Three and a half, and the front is three. That's maybe a, two and three quarters. That's some width, man. But when I when I looked it up, it was the widest wide body kit yeah. that was out there. Really? Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, it definitely definitely sticks out a good bit. So with the hood and the headlights, who makes the hood? The hood is from VIS Motorsports. Okay. Most of the parts are in the car. That okay. The car yeah. Uh, the headlights I made myself. I was gonna say that is yeah. I've never seen some a headlight like that. Industries off-road lights. Yeah. Some carbon fiber made up basically the same way you would make a scooter bike. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm sure they're bright. Yes. Yeah, they're definitely. Bright. So you said most of most of everything on top of the car was bought. Yes. And then everything on the bottom was made. Correct. So. So like I have some carbon fiber side splitters. You know, yeah. Uh, this is actually carbon fiber. It just has epoxied over because it went a little wavy. Okay. So we'll add another layer of carbon. Okay. Before we finish it. Um, and this isn't the, the original. This isn't the original fender, is it? No. This okay. is actually a, uh, a AMS GT wide body fender. Okay. So the fender's actually a little bit wider too. Okay. And then so, through the and then I put the that. Yeah. And I'm, then I'm, that whole carbon splitter. Yeah, That's crazy. This because I didn't have. I didn't want to buy their side skirts. I mm -hmm. like the side skirts I have, but I needed something to flow to this, so I shortened my original side skirt and then started making the blade. I am your poster child for Duraflex. Yeah. And I made the mistake of buying a Duraflex kit to uh -huh. save the money. Yeah. Um, and I had a serious overbite from my hatch to my bumper. Okay. So I remade the whole rear bumper. Um, it had big gaps where the blinkers were. Mm -hmm. So I cut the whole light out and just kind of mounted the light there temporary and mm -hmm. put the fiberglass around it. Dang, man. Um, an entire new panel here. That's crazy. Child a lot of attention to detail here, man. I mean, I, you know, at a, at a first glance, I wouldn't even guess that that is a Duraflex bumper or anything right. like that. The, the vents are like an inch wider, so mm -hmm. I, I had to pull them in because the radius of the blinker didn't match. Yeah, you okay. You can see all this yeah. stuff on Instagram, too. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad, but if you zoom in and look at some of the older pictures, yeah, it was worth me fucking up a nice paint job yeah. to, to make it look better. Yeah. To fix things. Yeah, and then this diffuser. Who makes this diffuser? Uh, that's a Carbon Creations. Carbon it Creations, a, okay. I guess a Rocket Bunny replica. Mm -hmm. um, even though it, it's three piece, mm -hmm. which I kind of like the fact that it's three piece. Yeah. Uh, so if it breaks, it's not necessarily the entire the thing. Whole thing. Yeah. And yeah. Since I work with carbon, I can make a new carbon piece if I need. That's cool, man. But it's mounted on the uh, same kind of cables that brace the wing. Okay. They're swageless cables, and I did that so that instead of mounting it on rigid brackets, mm -hmm. if you hit something, it'll kind of it'll kind of move a little it bit. Goes yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to destroy it. Yeah. Because it works by creating downward pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That's cool. And who makes this exhaust? Oh, uh, that's a Tomy exhaust. It is a Tomy exhaust. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, it's... I wish that I may have gotten the work done, but that I'm, I got to take it back on Tuesday. Okay. But I like uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So it's become a pretty popular exhaust. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when I get it back, it's going to have a dump. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, I'm an older guy. Uh -huh. I found out that dumps like used to be popular. Yeah. Well, I don't care. That hood used to be popular yeah. too, and I yeah. like it now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my Tomy and modify it so yeah. that I can be just a little bit different. That's, That's cool, man. More, more I think yeah. it'll look better with the diffuser. Definitely. It'll keep some of the rain out. Yeah. 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 That'll, that'll be sweet, man. Yeah. That'll be really cool. So, yeah, we may as well, uh, I guess, move up to the hood, check under the hood, take a quick glance at that. Oh, who makes these taillights before we run up there? Uh, I believe those are depots. Depot, okay. Yeah, those are depot taillights. Yeah. Because I know they make headlights for this car as well. Yeah, and I, I have some that oh, you I do? have modified. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I've heard some good things about depot when it comes yeah. to this chassis. I know some people, you know, they have their opinions about it and everything. I don't have but any I... problem with the, like, the sealant issues or mm. anything like that, and I've taken them apart a couple times. But really? I take them apart, and when mm. I put them back together, I put stuff in them mm. that I need to put in. Club business. He has a yellow wide body. Is it the vert? It is the I was going to say, yeah, I was, I was checking that out. Beautiful. Oh, my That's God. cool, man. Yeah, well, let's take a quick glance under the hood. All right. So, it's not bad. Need to clean up a little, you know. Um, Got some space in there, some yeah. space to party. Yeah, I've spent some time. Yeah. I've spent some time doing some stuff. I just replaced the valve covers. Uh, I did tuck the main wire harness, so there was a big ugly wire right yeah. here. I shoved that in the back, and yeah. heat wrapped it and all that good stuff. That's cool. Deleted a pulley, so I'll be able to work my, my polishing magic down a little bit yeah. further and a little bit further. Yeah. Uh, I did that. It took me like a month mm -hmm. in my bedroom, but I polished that all by hand. Started with Dang. a grinder and worked my way to wet sanding. Dang, right man. Some hard work. Yeah. There's a lot of dedication, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's my hot rod. That's the way I think of it. Yeah. This is something I can work on and yeah. enjoy on the weekends. Yeah. So if I'm not out driving it, yeah. I'm enjoying working on it. Yeah, you may as well take your time with it, you know. Yep. And that's cool, yeah, that, that strut brace. It's yeah. paint matched everything. That's so cool, man. Well, had that forever and finally got uh, somebody to, to re-weld the mounts on it because it didn't line up quite right. Oh, okay. So then they took care of that for me. Mm -hmm. And then you are on, this is obviously an air ride suspension. Yes. Um, who, what, what suspension is it? Uh, who makes airlift. it? Airlift, okay. Yep. And then you have the, do you have the 3P management? I do. You do, okay. I do, and I have the height sensors, I just got mm. them installed. Mm -hmm. I've heard only good things about 3P. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, yeah. I've, I've obviously no things happen. But. I use all five of my settings. My kid thinks I'm crazy because I'll drive down the highway and hit the button. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, that's highway mode. <laughs> I can't drive around like that. He's like, you don't slow down? Like, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I don't know it's moving. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Hit the button. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's sweet. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the interior now, if yeah. you don't mind. So, I didn't. I haven't even taken a look in here yet, and obviously I'm starting to notice a lot of different things. So. All these carbon pieces inside were, did you make these? I did the entire interior. You made all of the, the okay. Entire interior. Now this is, this is just built up over the factory door panel. So I stripped it, uh -huh. learned a lot in the process, yeah. like how to stop carbon from delaminating mm -hmm. when you just bond it to it. Yeah. Um, had to build up, I had to make this panel. This was made out of fiberglass. Okay. And then secured to it from the backside so that I could expose the speaker. Mm -hmm. um, same thing that I did in the rear sound bar to expose the speaker. That is crazy, man. That is a ton of time. And it looks great. Thank it looks you. really good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, and yeah, then... I, mean, I, I pulled the fabric up a couple pieces so that I could make sure, like, the diamonds matched up and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It was a learning process for sure. That's nuts, man. You got the whole center console wrapped in that same diamond stitch. Yep. Wow, man. Yep, the, the airlift controller pulls out, and it has the chenille mm -hmm. denim underneath that. So it's, you know, yeah. Um, I, I made sure that I carried the uh, the pattern through in layers. Okay. So like the bottom layers where the denim is, it's the same thing on the sill. It's okay. It's off the back, so it's on the subwoofer that's in the back. Mm -hmm. um, the carbon. If you go on the gram, mm -hmm. you can see a picture of my dash in my shower. I carbon. I didn't want the whole dash carbon mm -hmm. just because of how shiny it is. Yeah. But the whole front cowl of the dash is carbon. And I'm okay. just telling you, I spent probably a month with a file, filing them holes out. That is Ex nuts. Excess built up resin and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. That is crazy. A lot of time. 
I make sure I point that out. Yeah, yeah definitely, man. I mean, that, that's a lot of, that is a ton I mean, of dedication. You look at some of those, like, supercars, and you spend some time at those cars and coffees, and you mm -hmm. check out where those details are. Yeah. That's, I kind of want to replicate yeah. some of that. Yeah, and I mean, you, you definitely did. I mean, especially with, you know, all of that attention to detail and those small, like you said, just those small things that, yeah, yeah. It, when, you, you might not see it at first, but once you take a second look at it, it's, it, you know, you really, it really stands out at the second time. This is the, the one Easter egg, I think, inside the car. It's the only candy car that's in the car. But the little Z is actually candy. Oh, that's cool. So the Z on the vent is, is matched to everything matched else. That's so cool, the man. Uh, the GTR shift knob, because the GTR is an automatic. Oh, and yeah. I have an automatic. Yeah. So I went out and bought a relatively inexpensive GTR shift knob. Yeah. And yeah. made it the really expensive one. Because yeah. Because I added the car to myself for that. That's crazy. And it all it all looks like a factory option with like how you did the carbon. Right. It all looks like it would like it was an option at some point. Yeah. So that's that's really cool, man. And who makes the obviously Momo steering wheel and then? And it's a uh, Works Bell Rapid Fix. And okay. I got that from Chris Whittingham. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 I just that off of him when he changed his system. That's crazy, man. And then the Bride Lomax Japan versions, yeah. or Japanese versions, yeah, those are, and then you got the saw belt, saw belt harnesses, yeah. that's cool. I mean, I've, I've only ever heard good things about Bride, I mean, I feel like, and yeah. I, I've, I've also heard that apparently it's pronounced Brid. That's what I've heard. Is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. apparently it's pronounced Brid, go. so I, I did not know that up until like a month ago, so. You know, a Beamer's a motorcycle and a Beamer's a car. That is true, so. that is true, yeah. But yeah, man, that's, that's cool, it's a really... Real good setup you got going on here, man. Thank you. And you do something to compensate for the automatic. <laughs> oh, you gotta, hey, man. Gotta look good, feel good. No shame, no shame, yeah. man. So I mean, you got you definitely have future plans and stuff like that, 100%. Yeah. And you said you have a you have a sub setup that you did yourself as well yep. back there. Yep. If I could get my latches open, I'd show it to you. But the trunk is still under MDF. I okay. I haven't put the acrylic. In oh, okay. In All right. You can see it if you take pictures in because it is mm -hmm. it is uh, it's on the exterior. Yeah. 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 Um, it's a 10 inch Alpine Type X. Okay. It's Dang, man. Custom by yeah. Something that's probably the first thing I ever started doing the cars with stereos. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man, I love, I got a, I got a weird love for car audio, so yeah. I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Old school Alpine stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's sweet, man. Well, if, uh, if you're ready, I guess we can take a quick little drive. And yeah, man. See how she feels, Same listen turn. to her for a little bit. Like All right, let's make it happen. I mean, right off the bat, man. Make some noise. Make some noise. Uh, when you get into it, you definitely hear it. Oh yeah. 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 But it's you know it's, 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 yeah. it's comfy though. I mean you know this is for the for the air ride setup and everything. This is definitely very very comfortable. From what I noticed, the seats are incredible. I can fall asleep in these things. Yeah, there it goes. This closet, yeah. This is this is cool. 
something like that, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good day. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, this is, this is one of those questions that, you know, it's always kind of a ballpark guess to an extent, but, I mean, you've had this thing for 11 years, so, let's say you didn't get a Z, what, what else would you have got? What, what, what other car, or what other platform kind of strikes your interest, like, right off the bat? Maybe not as much as the Z. Some miles you can put on this thing. If this was daily driven, there's no way I 